people got a few things wrong. <laughs> But stating that the world is round was not one of them. But despite overwhelming evidence, some refuse to believe the earth isn't flat. Tonight, those people are in Cary for a sold-out conference. CBS North Carolina's David Hurst spent the day getting to know them. For those who call themselves flat earthers, the Flat Earth International Conference is the ultimate meetup. As soon as it got announced, I basically booked the hotel and I booked the ticket straight away. For those attending, getting together with those who share their beliefs is a nice change of pace to the ridicule they normally face. It's not a way to make friends and, and, and you know, impress your family because if they're not willing to look, they're going to think you're crazy. And many attending the conference here say the theory has really gained popularity over the past few years, enough popularity where they can hold conferences like this. For the last two to three years, it's really taken off. I don't really know what the what the reason is for that. Maybe it's just time. One factor of the growing popularity may be the coverage in the media. It became a hot topic recently when Duke's very own Kyrie Irving came out and claimed he believes the earth is flat. And I spent about two weeks really digging in, uh, trying to debunk it, and um, that's how you become a flat earther. And flat earthers admit while many will say their beliefs are ridiculous, they believe the theories and conferences like this will continue to grow. In Cary, David Hurst, CBS, North Carolina.